Yo, what's going on? It's Rubble Ranks here again to teach you another tutorial on Photoshop. What I'm going to show you today is how to change the eye color of um, change the eye color of some eyes, and how to um, change the hair color. Yeah, All right. Let's go. Rubble Ranks. All right, open up Adobe Photoshop. CS tree like I said it doesn't really matter what Photoshop you got I just prefer CS3 because I'm a bad man right um, I've got this lady here quite a nice photo anyway all I'm gonna do is change the eye color and change the hair color okay so first of all She's got lovely brown eyes. I'm gonna change them to, I don't know, let's say a nice blue color. So I'll change this color a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't really matter what blue I'm. Uh, this blue. Okay. So zoom into the eyes. Make a new layer on top of this one. And then take the paintbrush tool, put the hardness to zero, and we'll make this diameter a bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is um, just color the eye in. Shit. Control Z. Do you want the opacity up for? Okay. Right, just colour the eye in. Dun, 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 dun. But don't colour in the pupil, the black pupil. Leave that. You need to be fairly accurate on the eye. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, like I said, don't colour in the pupil. And if there's a white um, glow, don't colour that in either. Okay, that should do. Okay, now you're probably thinking that's a bit shit, but we're going to change that, okay? Like I said, go to blending options, and usually, sometimes, depending on the picture, you might choose a different one usually what I'll do is try lighting first see what that's like um, just flick through them screen color dodge what's overlay saying overlay nah. soft light mm. let's go back to lighting again and then we'll change the opacity of that so change that down a little bit I mean you want this to look realistic so let's zoom out to actual pixels zoom out a little bit and we'll just change the opacity a bit more um, let's try something else try screen flip down color dodge Okay, I mean, what other ones have we got? That looks pretty good, to be fair. I'll change the person. Alright, so what I've gone for, I've gone for hard mix and changed the opacity. But like I said, depending on the picture and what colour you've used, I'll just flick through all of these blending options and then I'll find one that I like. And I mean, that looks pretty good, I suppose, quite realistic. Change the opacity down a little bit more. Okay, so she had original, her original eye color was hazel brown, and now they're blue. So now what I'm going to do is change the hair color for you. And to do that, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this layer, 
we'll keep this layer just in case. So this one, go to layer, not layer, image adjustments, um, hue and saturation, and then with this we're going to change the hue. As you can see, it changes the whole picture. So we'll give a oh no, let's give her some blonde highlights. Um, change the saturation. Keep changing it until you find a sort of nice color. We'll give her some blonde highlights. click OK and then like I showed you before hold ALT and click this little one here and it will put a mask in front of it and then take in the paintbrush tool on white make this a little bit bigger the brush diameter take that down a little bit OK now if I was to just go over this now it looks a bit crap so we'll change the opacity down to a little bit, say uh, I don't know, 80%. And then just go over the hair. Dun, 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 dun. And then what it's doing is just letting a little bit of that colour shine through to give her some lovely blonde highlights. It's looking nice. And then you can do other stuff to this, you can, I don't know, change the colour of the lips if you really wanted to. We'll merge these layers together. Duplicate it again. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm just showing you one way. Alright. Go back to hue and saturation. I know. It'll probably look crap, but let's give her blue lips. Okay. Hold Alt. Click the mask. Get the paintbrush tool. Change the opacity down. And change the brush size. Okay. And then just go over it like this. So we're giving her some lovely blue lips make it look cold zoom out ah oh, that is lovely I mean you can keep changing this until you're happy with it fuck it let's give her some blue hair just go over the hair Let's change that again. <coughs> I mean, that's just quick. You can make that look better, obviously. So if you need to mess around with it to make it look better, but like I said, that's just showing you. I mean, we'll go back to the beginning of what she looked like before. Um, okay this is what she looked like before and this is what she looks like now we'll take that away I've changed the eye colour quite realistic which I said I was going to do and yeah just mess around with it but that's how you do it okay one love Robo Ranks Laters.